A disturbing situation putting a neighborhood in the southern end of the Salt Lake County on edge. Thanks for being with us for 2 News at 6. I'm Mark Cabell. And I'm Heidi Hatch. You're seeing exclusive surveillance video captured of a naked man here attempting to break into homes in a Draper neighborhood. Police say this happened early this morning. He did get into one house and got away with some much needed items. Yeah, Amanda Gilbert live in Draper with how this all started and ended. Amanda? Yeah, Draper police say before 6 this morning, they got calls about a naked man in the Trader Joe's parking lot. They say when they arrived, he ran to this nearby neighborhood. Take a look. This is not what Mike Richards expected to see pop up on his phone. You know, you see somebody walking around trying to open your back door to your house. Very scary stuff. The notification appearing while his family's been away hunting near Fish Lake. We don't have a lot of naked people trying to break into our house. When they called police. As they said, well, we've got news for you. We've got people in your yard um, doing a search for this person that's running around naked. Turns out the nude suspect ran from the nearby Trader Joe's parking lot. It sounds like he was trying to get between houses and cars or sheds. Police say he did get into this house. Ellen didn't want to go on camera, but says you can see from this video, the naked thief got away with her husband's clothes, hat, shoes, wallet, nail clippers, and his car. The couple believes he was in their home for about half an hour. He ate a banana. I had two bananas in for my cereal this morning, and when I went to get ready to eat, my bananas were were gone. But when I was out in the garage, I found half of a banana on my husband's workbench. Ellen found some lights on in the house when she woke up. And they went in that bathroom because the towels ended up being down in my family room. It's a scary situation with a good reminder. I'm glad it's over and I learned a lesson about locking my doors. Important lesson there, and Draper police say they did eventually arrest the suspect. They didn't have a name for me, but they did say all the surveillance video from neighbors really helped with the investigation. The couple tells me that they did get their car back. They're still waiting on some of those other belongings like the clothes, but they had a positive attitude. attitude. They said, importantly, no one was hurt. Reporting live in Draper, Amanda Gilbert, KUTV 2 News.